All right, Drew Canoli here. I'm here with my good friend, Neil Godfrey, author of Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. We've done a few videos in regards to finances, and we are going to be talking about, should we tell them? Relationships and finances. So the reason we're shooting this video today is because we talk a lot about uniting the world through health and happiness at FitLife. And one of the biggest things that can bring us the most abundant, radiant, vibrant amount of health is the relationship. So we're gonna establish some um, ways of being in relationship that can help you with your financial situation that you may be in. having me on to talk about relationships because that whole coupling situation is one of the big breakdowns is the money situation. In fact, 85% of divorces are due to money issues. And it's because we're not comfortable talking about that. And I know you've, you've helped thousands of people, if not millions, with this book and everything in regards to being comfortable enough to talking about it. So in a relationship, what are the steps to feel comfortable enough to talk about the money issues? coming clean with your transparency. What's your debt? What are your assets? What do you make? What What is your money situation? Are you coming into that relationship with debt? You better come clean. And you know what? We are not life's report card of what we earn. There's nothing to be ashamed of. So that's number one, come clean. Nothing to be ashamed of, I like that. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's a fact of life. That is the business part of your relationship. It's not the I love you part. It. It's we're in this thing together. Number two, set goals together. Have you heard that before? <laughs> I've heard trust me a lot, but anyway, just saying. But the whole point is sit down and then have mutual goals. We have to get the debt paid back. We have to do this. These are our goals. Number three, walk the walk. And if one of you earns more than the other one, then you know what? you pay that prorated proportion. Don't let the other person feel as if they're not as worthy because they're earning less. If you're an investment banker, you're gonna make more than a violinist. They're not worth less, so don't set that up. And by the way, if you come into the marriage and there are big disparities between what you have and what I have, we need a prenup. It's a legal agreement. The whole point is if you come into a relationship and there is a great disparity, then you need to protect the assets that you do have. That's only right. So you need to decide what's mine, what's yours, and what's going to be ours. It's the hours that mm. we're building together that is yeah. the foundation. By the way, if you're young and you're coming into a marriage and you don't have any assets, don't worry about it. You don't need a prenup. So I have a lot of friends that are married now and they're, they're kind of straying away from actually having joint accounts. Is that like the new theme? Yeah, no. maybe, maybe yeah. your friends. But, <laughs> what, but what they should be doing is, I think it's really important to have mine, and you have yours, and then we have ours. Oh. And the ours is that family account where you're paying bills and you're doing things jointly. But if, let's say I'm not working, I don't wanna to have to come to you, because then all of a sudden it's a parent-child relationship. I'm not gonna feel like an equal partner. So I need some of my own money. Got it. All right, so I've heard um, from various people before that they feel like their spouse is hiding money. What do you think about that? Okay, that goes into the trust category. Yeah. So it's time to come clean, it's time not to hold that back, and you need to present some evidence that you think that is happening, and it's time for the big transparent conversation. Yeah. And then if there is a, a big problem, like gambling or drugs or yeah. something, then, then you go immediately to the divorce situation. Really? It's not gonna get better, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you don't have trust in a relationship, once that's undermined, you know how that works. That's powerful. So thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you. Talking about relationships. Did you have fun? I, yeah, I love working with you. I love the juice too. Like the yeah, juice. I like the red juice. Well, I love your book and you guys will too. So check it out. We're gonna leave a link below this video and uh, get your relationship in order already, okay? Drew Canoli. Neil Godfrey. Remember, we're in, in this, this together. To <laughs> Remember, we're, we're in, in this, this together. <laughs>
I can do it. I know I can do it. All right, let's. I'll start it. just sitting there going, "Who is she?" Drew Canole. Neil Godfrey. Remember, we're, we're in, in this, this together. together. I like the high vibe. That's good.